Um, so in that case, you have this production function, 12.25 times L squared K squared. So that's your confidence. And it says uh, K is fixed to two. Price of L is 28, Q equals 12.25. Here's my target. Um, times L squared times K squared, but K is two. So I'll plug the two in and that'll give me four when I square it. Something like that. And then four times 12.25 49 it is, a nice number, huh? So this is 49 times L squared. Huh? Divide both sides by 49, so L squared equals Q over 49. Or if I take the square root of both sides, I have I have to take the square root of Q and then the square root of 49, which is seven. So that would be my conditional factor demand for labor. It's a function of how many Q units you want to produce. So the fixed cost is going to be the, the cost that you pay even if you don't produce anything. So if Q is zero, you're looking at P K times K. So that capital's fixed. P K is what, 10? And K is two. So fixed cost should be $20. Variable cost would just be the other part of the total cost. So in this case, the cost of the labor. So that would be P L times the L choice. And P L is 28. And the L choice is the square root of Q over seven, right? Um, seven goes into 28, what is that, four times? Is there ever worry that one day you'll forget those times tables? You guys are still pretty young. All right, so I think your variable cost would be four square root of Q. Yeah. Or six. Yeah. All right, number six. All right. 